All right, time for the nine at nine. Uh, why do dogs lick us? Well, part of it's based on affection, but there are other reasons too. First, some have learned that when humans get real close to their faces and maybe they're not comfortable with that, they can appease the human with a lick and the person will pull his head away. According to Dr. Horowitz, a dog co cognition researcher at Barnard College, the licking is an instinct that goes way back to when dogs ran in packs. If one dog was out hunting for food, when he came back to the pack, the others would lick the hunter dog's face, and that was a request to that dog to regurgitate some food so they oh, could eat it. That's fine. Nice. So your dog might love you, or she might just be hoping to get you to regurgitate some food. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Try it. See try what it. happens. Patrick, you're the big dog lover yeah. of all of us, so you give that a try. Yeah. My dog's not a licker. No. She must not either like me or want food from no, me. No, that's yeah. nice. Very independent dog. That's but your good. dog also eats like raw vegetables. I've never it. seen anything like it. Like a whole she carrot eat stick. Them. Yeah. She craves them. Hmm. Every yeah. night she knows it's veggie you time. Eight o'clock at night. I she's she's sitting by dog. the counter. You should be proud. Waiting for celery. No carbs. No. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, too. Not a hint of dog breath. Really? Uh, Nine years old. It's because all that chewing and the, yeah. you know. Yeah, now that's, anyway. you've been blessed. I've raised this wonderful, yeah, yeah. wonderful young lady. Credit to Number you. eight, uh, David and Victoria Beckham are rich. How rich are they? Check out their new $80 million mansion in Miami. The aesthetic is tropical modern, and it has space for their 130-foot yacht. Hmm. Why Miami? Beckham paid around $25 million to start Inter-Miami CF in 2018. The pro soccer team is now reportedly worth $1.2 billion. Wow. So wow. how rich are they? They're so rich, according to Daily Mail, they paid for the mansion in cash. Uh, wow. That's a lot of dollars. Good for Jeez. them. Number seven, yesterday we talked about the ick and told you it can be something that happens out of nowhere and in an instant. A behavioral thing that your partner does that you find so repulsive, you have a hard time getting over it. BuzzFeed asked people to share some stuff that gave them the ick. One guy said, the girl was beautiful, driven, and intelligent. We got along well. She was perfect, except that she would snap her fingers whenever someone said something she liked. Oh, boy. Every conversation was peppered with snaps. She'd do it instead of applauding at concerts, oh, too. Geez. Eventually, oh, yeah. I realized that this couldn't be my life. Here's another one. I would swipe left on any dude holding an iPhone without a case because I didn't need that kind of stress in my uh, life. Oh, yeah, sure. And this one, he uh, had a Velcro waller. Oh, or wallet. Wallet, yeah. perhaps, Velcro is wallet. what we are going yeah. for there. I cannot make a grown adult take a grown adult seriously if they use a Velcro wallet unless their kid made it for them or something specific. Yeah. Just that constant sound. Ah. More ick tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's funny how it can be one little thing yeah, that'll man. set you off. Hello. <laughs> uh, number six, uh, you haven't experienced satisfying until you've been to the Malaysian night market and seeing corn peeling. Oh, oh there we go. Look at that. What a great little tool. It's like a shovel. Is, yeah. Wait, it's like a curved shovel. Isn't that something? Well, I would love this. Yeah, Malaysia, they got them all over the place. Come on. America. I don't like eating the corn on the cob, but I do like the sweet corn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That Boy. is fantastic. How satisfying. Wow, that is really fun. satisfying. Well, it sounds good right now, too. Doesn't it? Yeah, I wonder what they season it. Yeah. Mm. Would you eat corn, Larry, or is that too oh, many carbs? Oh, yeah, I like corn. Yeah. Look at this, this is so satisfying. I like this video. We should just kind of yeah. have this on standby if something goes yeah. wrong. Just, <laughs> just go to yeah. this. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you needed that 10 minutes ago, yeah, Mike. Yeah, I did, Mike. That is good. All right, number five. We're playing a new game. Can you name the movie? We'll show oh, you one right. image, and uh, here it is. Uh, oh, I already is, know it. Um, oh, yeah, that's a Breakfast Club. Yeah. Oh, oh give yeah. Give me a second. Yeah. You're yeah. Well, Come you're on. never going to be in this uh, game. It's going to be close. All right, here's the, uh, oh, well, that was here's it? the answer we already have. Oh, here's a scene one? from the movie. Oh, okay, let's see it. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's Ali Ouch. Sheedy. Yeah. She played uh, the quirky Ellis and Reynolds in the movie. Oh, We're going to blow your mind with this one. Ali Sheedy, 62 years old. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Checks. Yeah. yeah. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number four, among mammals, the fathers rarely do much to raise the children. There are 6,000 mammal species, but there's uh, paternal care in only about 7% of those mm. species. And yes, lady, this all, ladies, this also goes for humans. It's true that you do most of the work. The biological reason this happens in the animal kingdom is that males get a better return on their time if they go out and find more mates yeah. instead of <laughs> sticking around the house and raising <laughs> offspring. Uh, they're focused on leaving more offspring behind. Gorillas certainly fall into this group. But among gorillas in parts of Central Africa, scientists from Northwestern and other places found something crazy. Yeah. Most of the male gorillas do look after the young. And the more they do that, the more young they're likely to have. It's an evolutionary win-win. Scientists aren't sure why, but they think uh, that maybe the female gorillas prefer to mate with the males who are nicest ah. to the infants. Mm. So they're just pretending to be nice to the kids to get more. Yeah. <laughs> to get more kids. Yeah. Okay. All right, number three. Uh, during the last uh, Thursday's NFL broadcast, they put up an amazing graphic. Announcer Al Michaels oh, yeah. eats at Toscana Italian Restaurant in Los Angeles a lot. The graphic has him going there over 4,000 times, eating 3,600 steaks. A Sports Illustrated pointed out the math could be off because 4,000 trips would be like every day for over 11 years. At the same time, Toscana has been open for 35 years. Uh, factor that in, and it's conceivable that Michaels has eaten there about 115 days a year. Uh, maybe the best part of the graphic is how many vegetables Michael has eaten there, which is zero. <laughs> Michaels does not eat vegetables, he pointed that out. Uh, up that his mother had told him as an 18 year old in 1944 and she wasn't really reading parenting books or forcing him to eat veggies uh, in fact he swears that he's never eaten one huh. mm. oh you're yeah so he was 18 years old his mother was 18 years old in 1944 he didn't turn i don't he know i'm more confused than ever yeah. it doesn't matter so he's never eaten vegetables no god bless no. yeah yeah it's doing just fine all right. Number two, let's look at kissing. The backstory turns out it has nothing to do with romance. According to researchers at England's University of Warwick, kissing was born out of evolution. It was once done by human beings as a way of grooming each other. And that, of course, was based on the apes. One groomer would use protruded lips to suck the fur or skin wow. to remove debris or parasites. <laughs> pretty graphic yeah, kissing it video. Is. Huh? It is pretty good. Over time, humans had less body hair. Grooming became less essential, and those He's protruded CPR lips there. Yeah. Really found their her. way to each other. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, the earliest record, if I'm not mistaken, of kissing, uh, I believe, goes back to Mesopotamia. Oh, yeah, oh really? Yeah, the yes. Mesopotamians, they were yeah. 5,000 years ago. Scientists yeah. say they're not sure when it became something more romantic in nature. Scientists, what do they do? Mm -hmm. All right, number one, how about a dance scene from the 1948 musical comedy called... Dewberry was a lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a uh, good one. Lucille Ball. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Red Skelton, Lucille Ball, and Gene Kelly. Never heard of this movie. In this number, there's a great finale, see? It shows how fit Gene Kelly was. Take a look. All right. Wow. That is 
stage shows like this anymore where people are just uh, mm -hmm. tap dancing and... No. Nice yeah. They I'm call them hoofers, them. see, Larry? Yeah. That's what they called them back in the day. Just the Danes, though. <laughs> That's back in the day. is a whole lot of fun. All right, uh, here's what's happening.